Hi folks, Dr. Ed Byer. This week we're talking about fibromyalgia and chronic pain. Well, you know, I've had a lot of cases over my 28 years in practice where people will come to me and they said, you know, I used to play, I played football in college or high school or I fell out of a tree or I was involved in a car accident. And ever since then, I started getting pain in the oddest places in my body and my health just took a turn for the worse to where they were diagnosed with fibromyalgia. And so head trauma, Head trauma can be an initiating factor in these chronic pain syndromes. Now, what happens when you did when you it doesn't take a whole lot of force, it could be like a slight rear end type of accident or just bumping your head in a carnival ride or going down a water slide or something like that. You damage this important barrier between the blood in your body and your brain. It's called the blood brain barrier. It's a barrier system just like we have with our skin and our gut that prevents things from getting into the brain that you don't want in the brain. The brain's very selective on what it can handle. So an intact blood brain barrier is really important for a healthy brain. Well, when you have these head traumas, this blood brain barrier gets compromised, it breaks down, and now you get chemicals into the brain that cause the brain to be inflamed and we call that brain on fire. And what will happen is the neurons that perceive pain now are over perceiving pain. It's called central sensitization. They exaggerate the perception of pain that's going on in your body. So let's say you have a back problem or a neck problem, and it's really to a normal person, the brain's going to perceive it as a two. You may perceive it as an eight, and people look at you like you're crazy when you're really not. Or allodynia, which is where you're, you're, you're perceiving pain in, the, in your parts, your brain is perceiving pain when you have nothing going on in your body. That's called allodynia. Now, what we can do to restore this blood-brain barrier is you can take certain things called flavonoids like resveratrol or curcumin, which is in the spice turmeric. These are common, uh, or rutin. These are common flavonoids that we would help to restore the blood-brain barrier. Uh, and botanicals known as vinpocetin or ginkgo or feverfew are some known, that have been around for hundreds of years, known to help uh, brain function. One of the best things, too, to restore a leaky blood-brain barrier is exercise, one of the best things for your brain. I'm Dr. Byer. Hope this helps. Have a great day.